right now that fight between Kagura, Minerva, just Urza, all that shit right now is going down, yo. When freaking Urza does Kagura, she refused to give up right there. Like when she was pulling out Arch Enemy, out and I'm saying, yo, I can't die yet. I refuse to die like that. I had so many things left to do. And finding out some very interesting backstory about Kagura, about Urza, about some, finding out that they actually all grew up in the same village. They all grew up in Rosemary Village. And it was like, what actually was happening was that Urza, the reason she got caught in the first place was because she was trying to hide Kagura. And it was just, it was such a touching moment there, seeing like she was saying like, oh, you'll be safe here. Your big brother will be here for you soon. And knowing that none of them ever came back, it was like, kill the adults and take the children. And... She was like the only one to escape from there and after finally hearing all those years like oh I've been looking for my big brother and finding out that that was the last time she ever got to sort her brother and to that day it was like the only time she got reunited with Urza and it was a very touching moment for the episode like there it's like and not to mention as well when freaking like she's just crying there like shocked as hell and saying like what have I done and me play and Urza saving her as well from like a giant blockade after just nearly trying to kill her and all that and just all those emotions right there, and then it just comes out with Minerva stabbing Kagura in the back with that sword, and just also as well beating Miliana as well, just so she can put fucking points on the lead. It's like, like fucking Minerva is such a badass bitch that she doesn't give a fuck. She'll do anything for fucking Sailor Two, and if she has to be a badass evil bitch for it, she will do it. And just seeing Urza's fury. That fury of Urza, it's like, oh my gosh, she was fucking human, and it's like, now we're going to get Urza versus Minerva. I mean, Kagura, some emotional shit with her. She had an awesome fight, and I thought, you know, she got done dirty by freaking like, Minerva, but it was still awesome nonetheless to see it. Then also, uh, we got some setups as well from this episode. Like, not too much happened with, like, Natsu and Gang's group, but since it was mainly about the tournament this episode, like, we had Laxus versus Orga, seeing, like, the two lightning users of magic just going off, like, the God Slayer, and also as well, like, the Dragon Slayer. I was very interested to see that one. And it showed, yo, Jura even interrupted that fight. It was like, let me join in the fun as well. So, we got Laxus, we got Orga, we got one of the seven saints, you know, one of the saints right there. Going in there, and it's just like, that's going to be an awesome free on free. Rogue was getting so exposed in this episode. It was fucking just pathetic looking at him. He was saying, you're not even as powerful enough as now. So it's like, say what, Rogue? Like, like Gazi was like, I didn't even hear that, right? It's like, please, you got exposed. You got the ones that your ass handed to you by Natsu on his own. Look what's gonna happen to you, it's like, goddamn. And then not to mention this is a comedy fight, but still we got Grey and Julia versus Leona Shelia. Like, uh, that's gonna be fun. I mean, you know me, guys, I love my freaking Julia, but it's like, yeah, her fight's kinda crusty <laughs> compared to it. And like, Grey versus like, both like, Shelia and Leon haven't really done anything. I mean, yeah, Julia has fought Shelia, but they haven't really been properly injured from the fight. And then, like I said, with the other part of the episode, we did have Natsu and Guy finally back in the palace and wanted to ask some questions uh, for, you know, future Lucy. And it's like, definitely, you know, this episode was really good. It had some really great moments to it. Definitely some hiccups here and there, like, with some animations. Like, what the fuck is, like, like Loki is, like, gold and shining where everyone's, like, dark as well. And then, yeah, some, like, textures here looked a little bit eh. But for the most part, animation looked really good. It was probably one of the best episodes we've seen so far of Fairy Tale. And not to mention as well, seeing that ending, which was actually filler, if I remember, of the princess actually showing, like, the um, scene of what the dragons will do to the whole stadium. It was, like, a very interesting moment. It's like, it was a really good episode. I thought this one was a solid 8 uh, out and a half out of 10. It was a really good episode. But let me know what you think in the questions down below. But that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy that.